is a tutorial to show you how to skin your Steam. This is what the default skin of Steam looks like. Most of you already know it. To get additional skins, you need to download them off the internet, obviously. One of the best websites is called GameBanana.com. I'll include a link in the description. Um, this is what a Game Banana looks like. There are many different skins here. You can preview them quite nicely. Um, you can select your skin. My favorite is True Blood. All you need to do is download it. Then press the second download link. Any of which servers will all be fine. I've already downloaded mine. Once you've downloaded it, it gives you a RAW file. You need WinRAR to be able to un to extract this. I'll include a link for WinRAR in the description. To extract, you just quite simply right click and extract here. It then puts a True Blood folder. Within this is the graphics and resources which are required to run the True Blood skin in Steam. You need to copy the True Blood folder and paste it in your Steam skin directory. To get the Steam skin directly, you go um, start computer local disk C program files. Now, depending on your operating system, it's either going to be 86 or just program files. If you have a 32 bit operating system, there won't be an 86. If you have a 64 bit operating system, then you need to go into the 86 because Steam is a 32 bit program. So, if there's an 86 folder, go into it. If not, just go into the program files. You then need to find Steam. Go into the skins folder within Steam and paste it. Paste it in the Steam skins folder. We then go to skin to Steam and we go view settings interface and we select the skin we want from this drop down menu like True Blood which I've already downloaded and copied across. We then press OK. A pop up appears which tells us that it needs to restart Steam for the skin to take effect. We press restart Steam. Once your Steam is restarted, it'll be quite obvious that the skin has been applied. Um, I really like the True Blood skin. As you can see, all the blood and the different colors, it's the guy who made it really did do it well. To revert it back to the original, we go View, Settings, Interface, and select Default Skin. Basically, the opposite process of what we did to enable the skin. Then press OK. Thank you for viewing this. Please subscribe and comment.